What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? We tuning in for another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on today, man. Day two. I told y'all back to back. It's track day. Now, only thing about it, I'm taking Dolo instead. I'm taking Dolo instead of John Jones. Now, only reason I'm taking Dolo instead is because main reason I'm going to take John Jones because Aunt going to meet me down there. We're going to let Aunt drive it because he ain't never drove the car. And we're going to see what the shots got to do and all that. Which, it shouldn't take long to dial the shots in on this car. It shouldn't take long at all. So, I'm going to let John Jones sit. And uh, we're going to take Dolo and run it on motor. And then it's going to be on a, a real tight prep surface. So, whatever number it lay down on motor tonight is what it's going to lay down. Now, Jesse said he might come. My bro Jesse said he might be he might be there. But if he's not, then it's just going to run motor. If he's there, we're going to run nitro too. We're going to hit it with the gas too. And uh, we can we can see what it do. So I'm about to pull this thing out and get these uh 26s off here and put the radials in the front runners on and then go ahead and get it on the trailing stuff too and get it strapped down and all that. So I won't have to do that. So we about to have some car moving and uh I'll check back in with y'all in a minute. All right, we got this thing all uh mounted up. Look a whole lot better since it lowered too. It looked better on the racing wheel since it lowered. It more like it's ready to go. I think it's gonna do something tonight. It's a, it's a it's a little loose. It ain't super loose, but you know, we're gonna see what it do. It should stick on them uh, radios right there. It should be fine, man. So I'm finna uh wife is gonna back out. I'm gonna turn the dolo around and uh back it in the in the driveway and then we're gonna load the thing up and strap it down then. I'll be ready because I got everything already in there. I need I got the air compressor, my helmet, left my helmet in there. Uh I got everything, man. I got everything. Uh, of course, I'm going to change out these shorts, man. I always wear long. I always wear some pants or something, man, when you're racing. It's just best. And I got the suit and all that, too. But I'm saying just running on motor, so. But still better say than sorry, man. I might take the jacket on. But anyway, we're going to get this stuff turned moving, and then y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. Man, I was going to go ahead and put the gas in it. But the funnel in the... I'm going to go ahead and... Man, I'm going to put gas in it here. Because I was thinking about it, I was like, man, I was about to say I can put the gas in it at the track, but there's just one little thing I had to do and one little thing I had to carry, man. It already be too much stuff to be taking out this taking out this truck, man. I, that's the part I hate. I hate coming back when I come back at night and I have to put all this stuff up, man. That junk ain't no joke, boy. Moving stuff around and all that. So... I got one more pail of gas, man. I'm gonna have to, uh, it's gonna be time to re-up. I got to re-up now. All I got left is 116, but that lasts so long because I just use it for my, uh, y'all know I just use it for the, for the, uh, one gallon fuel cell. Man, where am I? Oh, uh oh. I about to go in the corner. I say, somebody done hit me up. Look, y'all know, y'all know, boy, I be like, Martin, if you ever looked at Martin, every time something happened, boy, Martin be ready to point the finger at somebody. <laughs> That's how I be sometimes, man. Hey, I don't, hey, I keep it real. I be like, man, who done lost my, <laughs> who done lost my stuff, man? It be me. I be doing the kid like that. The kid done grab my thing. It be, it be me done put it somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I'm finna post some 110. We're gonna be running 110 Octane today. See, racing gear just make it run better, long as it's not too heavy of a weight, too too high of an octane. Actually, actually can hurt you if it's too high of an octane sometimes. You would think it will make more power, but it don't work like that. It's funny. And the thing about dry. 
So I'm trying to get the best number I can get out of it. So I'm putting race fuel in it. Uh, after this, and after I run on the dyno, I'm gonna be 93 octane shorty all the time. <laughs> 93 octane, man. 93 octane. So I'm gonna get this thing up. We're gonna load on the trailer, and probably when I turn y'all back on, man, we'll probably be at the track. So y'all just stay tuned. All right, y'all, checking in, man. I'm putting this on the vlog too, man. Bringing everything to a halt. Y'all see, I'm on dirt road, side of the roadway. Man, how about the transmission in the uh the transmission in the uh the knowledge done said it done had enough. It done said it done had enough. So transmission in the knowledge man is done. Well third third and high gear. Third and uh third and overdrive gone. So and I, I felt it, man, a little bit. I said, man, I think this thing here about to go. I said it the other day. So, look like it won't be no track action, man. Well, it ain't no look like it. it ain't going to be no track action. I ain't even I ain't even about to try to make it now. So, I'm just waiting on my, my uh, I'm waiting on my boy Jeremy to come call. He, he filmed for me. And, um, you know, he was, uh, he was, uh, he, I had the camera. And he was going to meet me down there. But then this happened. So, I'm like, at least let him get the camera, man. So he had to, luckily I caught him before he got all the way there, but it still took him out the way. So I'm gonna give him the camera. Then try to ease this thing back home in first, second gear. It's just gonna be a long ride, man. You know, I can't go but so fast. So we're gonna try to ease this thing back. But like I said, this is just a part of the game, man. I coulda, I coulda not even recorded this and just left it out, but it is what it is, man. I ain't tripping, I mean, I knew it was gonna happen. Uh, but, like I said, well, the knowledge is done now. We can go ahead and pull the engine out of it. Pull the engine out of it and uh, scrap the body or whatever. So, that's it, man. Wife of the that what she got the Escalade stuff now. So, gonna get rid of that thing and all that. So, you know, that what's going on. So, we waiting on Jeremy to get here. And, uh, like I said, when he get here, then we're going to uh, get the what's name. I'm going to try to ease, it, ease everything back home and holler at y'all when I get there. Because, like I said, the transmission is done. Transmission done, man. And all it'll fail if the transmission go all the way out. I'll I'll take the car off the trailer and drive the car home. All right, that's why I said I, I will take the car off the trailer and, and we'll drive the car home if, if all it'll fail. But we're gonna make it before we can make it. And uh, like I said, if it stop, we just gonna pull a dolo off the trailer, drive it home, and then we'll come back. I set the trailer down, lock it up. We'll come back with the Escalade and grab the trailer. And then I pay somebody to come tow this. So I already got a plan. It is what it is. Uh, so yeah, man. Don't just give me y'all the update, cause like I said, you can't just show the good stuff. You gotta show the bad stuff too. This stuff that happened, but I mean, I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping at all. But uh, when he get here and get the camera, we heading back, man. We gonna go back and see if we can make it and all that. So y'all just stay tuned. All right, y'all. Man, I tell you this out, boy. God is good, boy. I tell you, my boy Brent came through man who passed me he passed by and uh he saw me then he turned around so man that guard right there that wasn't nothing but guard cause like i said we ease it up to the stove so i'm gonna drop it then brent gonna grab with his truck and uh pull it to pull me to the house so we'll take the load off the um we'll take the load off the nolly so we just waiting on him to get his drop ball and then um he gonna hook up so i'm gonna go ahead and drop this thing y'all stay tuned all right y'all look uh -oh. All right, y'all, we checking in, man. We uh at the store. Waiting on my boy Brent to come back, cause he we finna switch the trailer. He done had the right side ball on the um on the hitch, so now he going right up the street to his shop. He was gonna switch and get his other truck, his truck that lowered, but now he gonna go to the go to his shop right quick and uh and uh just switch the balls out and put mine on there, and then we are gonna come back and get the trailer, cause he got the trailer. And we don't unload Dolo. So we're gonna take the trailer. He's gonna pull the trailer back to the house with me. And that'll take the load off the Denali. And uh give it even more of a guarantee that we're gonna make it. <laughs> we're gonna make it without without burning some stuff up. This that that, that already well, it already burned up. But it just make take the load off of it, man. We can go a little better, a little faster, and all that. So I am we about 
we probably about 40 minutes out from the house, but I mean, we'll get back. It's been a hell of a day, man. I'm looking forward to putting that car on the track, though. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. I really put that car on the track, but I guess we gotta wait the next week now. Or I could take it tomorrow, but at this point, I don't even feel like fooling with this. I really don't. So I might take it tomorrow. So. I don't know, y'all just stay tuned, man. We're gonna get this thing loaded up. When I turn y'all back on, we're gonna be at the house. Best believe that. So y'all stay tuned. Alright, y'all, take this out. Look, y'all know what I was, I was gonna pull the engine, man, but what I'm gonna do, cause I got too many engines. I, I got one, I'm probably finna have coming too anyway. But y'all know this is a good running 6.0. I'm gonna go ahead and get in y'all first dip in the vlog. Somebody can get this man $2,000. Whole truck. You gotta take the whole truck. Cause that's what I want for the motor and transmission. 2000 You buying the engine and transmission, the truck coming free. You wanna part it out, get your money off of it or whatever, cool. Only thing we was, we gonna take out of the radio. But uh, everything else, man. I mean, it got good parts in it. It got new LED lights in it. Uh, new tail, new headlight lenses. Wifey put new tail light, LED tail lights in it. But $2,000. You can't get it. You got a motor and all the computer, everything you need, man, to keep it fuel injected. You got a whole donor truck, everything you need. You cannot beat that price. I'm just doing it to get rid of it quick. Like I said, wife will get rid of it quick. So, boom, $2,000. You can get it. To let me know, you can pick the whole truck up, Carl. I don't want to fool with it. I got too many. So, I'm, I'm giving y'all a look. First deal. Y'all see the denial. Or you can, you can rebuild a transmission and put it in there. You want to. I mean, you can hit, you can take the transmission to Showtime and rebuild it. Showtime will literally rebuild the transmission. I done did all the suspension stuff on it. I mean, it need two front tires on it, but two front tires and some more Freon in the, in the system. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's a good work truck or whatever. You know, it depends on y'all, but I'm selling it. It priced as an uh, engine and transmission sale. Well, engine sale, I should say. Because y'all know where LS go. This is a 6 so It's a running 6 so a good running six so it did so i just had to throw it in the vlog man if you want it i'm located in georgia he said to come pick up the whole truck he said and wife and get get off of it so that's it man we're waiting on the brent to pull up and we're gonna check back in all right y'all we're checking back in so on the phone i gotta end up driving this thing back anyway cross off man the hitch the lift on brent trailer it just it's, it's up though, man. So I'm gonna put some 93 in it and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna drive this thing, drive this thing back home, man. So my wife is gonna drive the, she's gonna drive the Nile. And then we just gonna follow her. So y'all just uh, stay tuned, man. I, I turn y'all back on when we get to the house. Checking in, man. We are uh, really want to sit down, man. I'm tired. I'm tired, boy. We back, man. We back at the house. Whoo, boy, it been an adventure. Just got back. I'm talking about just got back. Y'all see it dark outside. You can see behind. Me. I just got back. Probably 15 minutes ago. We just got back home, man. It's a long ride. Long ride, man. Uh, and I don't want to hear nobody say nothing about Dolo ain't no street car. After that, after that ride, and on 15s, and on them radios, and man, I ain't even want to drive on them. They ain't even deal to approve, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. The, uh, you know, we ran into it. Like, they just, they weren't showing this, man. Some people won't show you the bad stuff when it happened and all that. They're part of the game. Like I said, transmission gone in the denial. Uh, like I said earlier, for sale, man, wife said $2,000, hey, we'll let it go. You can get it. It's basically for the sale of the engine. Everything else is free. Everything else free. So it's a hell of a deal somebody want it, especially you want an LS swap and running a running engine. You want a, a proven running engine, can crank up right now. You want an LS swap and don't have to go look for nothing. You got the computer, air wiring, everything, sensors, everything you need. There it is. There it is. But, uh. Said located in Georgia, just hit me up in the email 
uh, jmalcolm2004 at gmail. That's J-M-A-L-C-O-M. jmalcolm2004 at gmail. Hit me if you're serious. Uh, we'll set something up. You can come pick it up, whatever. I'll meet you somewhere. Boom. Uh, so, like I said, man, that was nothing but God, man. I got to shout out to Brent, man. I got to give a huge shout out to Brent, man. Like I said, Brent, man, well, he been rocking with me a long time, too. Y'all, it's crazy. Y'all just saw a vlog the other day, my boy Big Hell, when I was at Lawless Street Car. He had that blue Malibu, that bad blue Malibu. And I said, I've been rocking with me a long time. And he had that grill racing and chain stick on his car. Brent got one on his car too, real racing chain sticker. So that just let you know how long, I mean, he been rocking with me or whatever, man. Like I said, and, you know, I'm a, like, this white guy, like I said, Brent, white guy. And I like I like to throw the race out there because, you know, you be having that black versus white and all this stuff going on. So that's why I throw the race out there, man, let people know, like, you know, it good, it good and bad people from both sides, and all ethnicities or whatever. You know, it good and bad people, so. Uh, man, I got to shout out Brent, man. When I say he went above and beyond today, man, and I tried to get him some money, man, do something, he wouldn't take nothing. He wouldn't take nothing, man. He was just like, uh, you know, you know, he told me, he was like, Jay, you good people, man. He said, we we supposed to help each other. That's what we supposed to do. And they're real, man. Y'all know how I rock. I believe, in, uh, I believe in helping people, doing right by people. I do good deeds for people all the time, people I know and don't know. And, uh, man, that's just... Hey man, that touched me today. He went above and beyond, man. When I say stuck with me, he it's nighttime for him too. Like he just now, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all the rundown of what happened. So we put put the, everything to to a little store, and on uh, the store was about we made it. It was about 10 or 15 minutes away from where he lived. So you talking about 30 minute round trip there and back. So uh, his uh his girl. His girl brought the tow hitch. She brought his hitches. He had, cause he, his truck lifted. His truck lifted. It's high too, six inch lift. So he had every ball, tow ball, except the right side. So then, man, we tried to put mine on there. We knew it. We, we were thinking that rear end of the truck gonna give. And y'all didn't see that part. So we loaded it. We put Dolo on the trailer. I'm talking about didn't give, man. His suspension didn't give. And the fender was touching one of the tires on the trailer. So we like, that ain't gonna work. So he said he's gonna go back up to his shop, which I told y'all in the vlog. And basically what happened, he got to his shop, he didn't have, oh, he took he took my ball out of my hitch, but his hitch was so big, like it was loosening. It went, it was, it was uh the threads, the threads were too small to go in his hitch. So he drove to the nearest Walmart. He drove to Walmart, which is probably about another 15 minutes past where his shop was. He went to Walmart, bought a ball to fit his hitch, a two-inch ball just to fit his hitch, cause he was like he needed two for his open trailer. And uh, he did all that, man, and came back. And uh, we tried it again, and it it gave it made the, the it, we put it on his drop hitch, and it still wasn't enough, cause his truck did that tall, it still wasn't enough. So. At that point, I was like, man, I'm just gonna have to drive the car back. And then he can pull my trailer. He pulled my trailer back home for me. And that's what we did, man. I, I put some 93 in there. I put like $30 worth of 93 in it. And uh, drove it all the way back home. Wife had drove to Denali. And uh, Brent brought the trailer back, man. That love, man, I, I'll tell you, man, you don't you don't find many people like that. And when, he would not take nothing, man. He wouldn't take nothing, man. I tried getting some money. I said, man, I got to do something for it. He wouldn't take nothing, man. I told him to give it to the kids. He wouldn't take it, man. He was like, bro, he like, I'm good, man. I, I I, mean, I feel him, man. I salute Brent. He doing good for himself, man. I'd be the same way, too, if that were him. I wouldn't even want nothing either, man. Because, you know, when you're in a position and you blessed and 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 God bless you uh, both, you know, financially and just spiritually, it's like you don't really want nothing, man. You just... You just get your, uh, you you just good with helping people. You good with helping people, knowing you help somebody. That man stuck with us the whole day, man. Him and him and his girl, man. I, I got to salute her too, man, cause she was right there with him. Like I said, she was right there with him. She brought him uh, the tow ball. She went back with him. She she rolled with him all the way here. And uh, man, that's just that's just love, man. Brent, I know Brent, bro. I know Brent gonna see this, man, bro. I I I, I salute you, bro, man. Like for real, for real, man. Like he ain't, you ain't even have to do that. 
He didn't have to do that, man. That man is real. That's, he a real. For real. So, uh, yeah, man. I said, boy, ain't God good, man. Ain't God good, for real. But, uh, uh like I said, the, the knowledge for sale, I said, if it ever messed up, that was going to be it. Engine get pulled. Or uh, the engine run like a sewing machine. So, transmission out. I could. We could fix it, but we ain't going to fool with it. We ain't going to fool with it. Because I got an update on the F-150. Which uh, I'm gonna drop that tomorrow. I got some news on it, and some news on wife call. I'm gonna drop that tomorrow, man. But yeah, it been it been a day. It been a day, man. But uh, I ain't tripping. Like I said, I ain't tripping. That ain't that ain't nothing. That little something small. I ain't tripping. But uh, like I said, once again, man, salute Brent, man. I appreciate you. Uh, wife and the kids too, man. They they was some soldier. The kids turned into playtime, playing with rocks and stuff. They always make the best out of the situation. But that how we teach them, you know. That's how we teach them, man. It's a small thing to a giant. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I, I hate y'all don't get to see Dolo on the track with the new with the changes. I want to see it, too. But uh, next week, man, look like it's going to be next week unless I just I just cash out and get the track, which I said I'm probably going to do that. I told wife, I said, man, I'm probably just get the track. And, uh, yeah. Oh, but like I said, I don't want to hear nobody say nothing about when they see Dolo make that lick on gas, I don't want nobody to say nothing about it ain't a street car, man. Even Brent said, <laughs> Brent said we got here. He said, Jay, you got a street car, street car. Cause Brent, he got a street car too. He's hotter though. It's, it's, it's hotter than mine. Just keeping it real. It all. Uh, <laughs> Brent said, I wouldn't even try that with my car. <laughs> he said, he drive here though. You know, he drive. But he said, I wouldn't have tried driving that for a month. <laughs> he said, you got a street car, street car. I said, yo, I all of them like that. I can drive every last one on y'all. Even Big Meach when it get done. It's going to be the same way. But uh, yeah, man, I'm finna go in the house. I'm, I'm tired, man. I'm finna go in the house, edit this up for y'all, and then we'll get up. Me and the family will get up and hit the track tomorrow, and uh, just enjoy the day, have a good time, and film and stuff. So, yeah, that's it, man. I, I y'all get to see Dolo next week, man. I ain't even gonna put the rim back on. I got the, I got the shoes right here, man. I stack them up before I go and go to bed and all that. But I ain't even gonna put the rim back on yet, man. I'm, I'm a. Uh, the, the running shoes on there was staying on it. I ain't gonna, I'm just ain't gonna drive the car no well. Cause it got those, it got those wheels and tires. I'm not gonna drive it like that. So, yeah, I probably sneak and rent the track or something, man. Get y'all some footage. But yeah, that's it, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I'll catch y'all later. BCG, we out.